Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. And the first thing I want to say is I know my title says Midland MXR10 users should use the Redivis repeater programming software. And you're probably saying to yourself, well, how can he say that when he's got a Redivis repeater on his bench? And I'm going to say this many times in my video, but I'm going to say it again in this video. The Midland MXR10 repeater is the Redivis RT97S. So that's how I can say that that uh, Redivis software will work with the Midland because um, they're the same repeater. So it does not matter whether I have a Midland on the bench or the Redivis, the software will work on them. So I want to make that clear too. The second thing I want to point out is a disclaimer. Any frequencies that I use in this video that are outside the GMRS frequency band do not transmit on. Um, I'm doing that for demonstration purposes for this video only. And I do have a dummy load hooked up on this repeater. Um, also, technically speaking, depending on how far off you was to wander of off the GMRS frequency bands, uh, depending on how much, uh, how, how far away from there, the duplexer in the repeater should be tuned or retuned for maximum performance, technically speaking. So, of course, that depends on how far you decide to kind of stray from the GMRS frequency band. Okay, now let's get to the main part of the video. The reason why I say the Midland MXR10 repeater users out there should use the Redivis programming software is only because if you want to manually enter in a frequency, the Midland software does not let you do that. Let me show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and call up the Redivis repeater programming software. This is what the Midland user should be using if they want to manually enter in a frequency. So let's go ahead and hit read data for my repeater. Okay. Now you can see here, let's go ahead and let's change the first line to 400 megahertz. And let's change the transmit line to 480. This is my channel 1. Okay? Let's write that to the repeater. Okay? See how I did that? I can manually enter in frequencies. Let's go to the Midland software. Let's do a read. Okay, remember my channel one, I put 400 for the receive and 480 for the transmit. If you are in using the Midland software and you select it, they only let you set predetermined frequencies, whether it's the receive or the transmit. Obviously, I know why they did that, because they don't want you straying off of GMRS frequencies, but you cannot manually enter it in. Now obviously the Midland software did read the frequency because it does say 400 here and it does say 480. So you're probably wondering uh, did the repeater actually take that frequency even though it does read it? That Will it actually key up? Let's find out. Let's exit this and let's unplug the programming cable to the repeater. Let's plug in the power supply to the repeater and let's turn this around we're gonna zoom the camera in here shortly let's go ahead and put this up higher let's zoom the camera down and hopefully you can see this okay so now what we're gonna do let's go ahead and see if I can key up the uh, repeater here and I don't know if you're gonna see the bar graph let me maybe turn off the light here maybe that lights too much 
Let's see if that makes a difference. And let's grab a handheld here. Okay, I don't know if that made any better or not. Let's grab a handheld here. I'm going to key up. I got one handheld program to 400, and I got the other handheld uh, program to 480. So we're going to turn the volume up. We're going to key up. I don't know if you'll see the bar graph on here. It's going to be on the bottom, but it is keyed up. And I am talking on the radio. As you can hear, I'm actually transmitting on 480 megahertz. Um, so, yeah, there you go. So you can do that. It does take that frequency. Now you can see the bar graph on there when I unkey. And the bar graph goes down. So there you have it. Yes, it does take the frequency. So you can program them in if you use the Redivis software. So there you have it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.